hey what's up y'all so today i will be giving you five ways to know if someone secretly hates you all right so let's just get right into it all right um number one is backhanded compliments okay i speak on this a lot okay <laughs> or you know i will i speak on it often backhanded compliments um examples are um someone says to you your haircut makes your nose look smaller okay that's an example of a backhanded compliment okay another backhanded compliment is you're not as dumb as you look. That's a backhanded compliment, okay? I always say a backhanded compliment, it don't make you feel good, okay? A compliment is supposed to make you feel good. At the end of the day, a compliment is supposed to make you feel good, okay? Not make you second guess yourself, not make you overthink, okay? Nothing like that. Or a, a compliment is not supposed to make you feel bad about yourself or less, okay? A compliment is supposed to make you feel good, okay? And that's, you know, that's how you can tell a compliment, okay? A genuine compliment from a backhanded compliment. Backhand, backhanded compliments make you overthink. Backhanded compliments be like, okay, what did that person mean by this? Ugh. You know, it make you feel a little bit like taken back, okay, by the so-called compliments, okay? Um, another example of a backhanded compliment is those earrings are so nice. My grandma would love them. Okay. Like what the fuck you mean by that? Okay. You just said my earrings look nice, but wait a minute. You said your grandma would love them. So are you trying to say my earrings are out of style? They granny-ish style? They granny? Are you trying to say my earrings are granny? They giving you granny vibes? You said you're going to get your grandma these earrings? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now, here's the thing about it. Unless you're a grandma, unless you're of age, you got grandchildren and stuff, or of an older, older age, it's an actual compliment. They're just saying, okay... Yeah, granny would like those. But if you know you are not a granny, you're not even of an age of a granny, and then somebody's trying to tell you, basically, th they like your earrings, but it's a gran it's giving off granny vibes, okay? It's more of a granny style. That's shade, okay? Backhanded compliments are a compliment where a person throw a little bit of shade in there, okay? It's shady. That's a shady-ass compliment, okay? You 22 years old, and then you got earrings in your ear, and somebody telling you, oh, those earrings are so nice. Where you get them from? I'm thinking about, you know, I should get my granny some of those. What? Not I want some of those. I'm going to get my granny those. That's shade. Recognize shade, baby. Recognize shade. And another example, before I move on to number two, but another example is you think you know it all. When a person tell you you think you know it all, it's because a lot of times when a person say you think you know it all, it's because you seem to be right about a lot of things that you speak on or that you talk about. They may feel like they, in reality, all reality, they may feel like you seem to know it all. They low-key feel like you know it all or you're smart or you're right most of the, of the time when you say things. And you don't have to say that you know it all or that you're right all the time. But you may give good-ass advice or the things that you say or the things that you speak on. You may be a person you don't speak on it unless you know it. It don't mean you know it all, but you may know a lot, but that doesn't mean you know know it all, or you may know some things. But when a person says some stuff like that, you think you know it all. Or a person say, you think you better. It's because they think you better. It's because they think you're very intelligent. They think you know damn near it all. They over there question themselves why I don't know that, okay? Just pay attention. These are the type of people who could be right up under you, who secretly low-key hate you but see hate let me tell you a thing about hate hate when a person hate on you or have some type of hatred towards you where they feel like they hate on you is only because they love you they love certain qualities about you that they don't see in themselves they don't see in themselves 
or they see in themselves, but they're not confident to express themselves in that way. But a lot of times it's because they see something in you because it's like I said, they see something in you that they don't see within themselves or they don't feel like they have. Okay. And that's why it's like, it turns into hate. The things that they hate about you, they actually like about you. They actually love about you. They just hate that they don't possess it or they hate that they feel like they don't possess it or they hate that they can't see it within themselves. And so they kind of deflect their energy the fact that they hate that, why I don't have this, or they can't see it within themselves, they got to throw that off on somebody, so they hate it. They throw the hate on to you, you know? Bang. It just is what it is. You know, they got to die flat. They, they got to, some people, they have to push it off to somebody. They don't want to deal with their own emotions. It's called emotionally immature, and they don't know how to deal with that, and so they push it off onto others. When in reality, it's things that they hate within themselves and they see someone else with it or they see someone else doing it, even though they want to do it, but they don't have the courage or whatever it takes to do it. So they hate you for doing it. Really, they hate themselves for not doing it or for, for not being that or not standing in that. You get what I'm saying? I hope y'all get where I'm saying, what I'm saying, okay, and where I'm coming from. Now, number two, okay. We are on five ways to know if someone secretly hates you. Number two, <clears throat> they're always pointing out a flaw or something that you do wrong, but they can't tell you when you're doing something good or when you're doing right, or they overlook your achievements or the things that you do right or that you're doing good in. They overlook it, okay? That could potentially be a secret hater of yours, all right? Also, you, when you bring up good news, they find a way to put it down, okay? They find a way to put it down or bring you down or put your ideals down. That's a secret hater. So you want to watch out for that, you know? If you got someone around you, especially if it's so, supposed to be a so-called friend or family member or spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend or lover or something like that, these are the people that are supposed to be cheering you on, okay? These are the people that are supposed to be telling you, encouraging you. Damn, they're supposed to be your number one fan. And if they are not doing this, and when you present good news to them, they don't seem to be all that excited about your good news, keep an eye out. This could be an undercover hater, okay? A snake, okay, in your garden. All right. If they're not making you feel good about your achievements, if they're trying to downplay your achievements or the things you have done or the things that you are doing right, they just may be a undercover hater. OK, and I'm just, you know, I'm just letting y'all know. OK, I didn't be through these things. OK, especially when it comes to undercover haters by experience. OK. And I was used to be that type of person that made excuses for others, okay? Even when my intuition was telling me, this something don't seem right. This person don't seem all that happy for you. Why this person, when you bring up good things, they kind of ignore it, okay? So, what I will say is, I used to ignore it or make excuses for people, okay? But I no longer do that, okay? Because not listening to my intuition has led me down like heartache and heartbreak and heart pain because I ignore my intuition and I made up, I used to make up excuses for people when they really were showing me who they are. When a person show you who they are just one time, believe that, okay? Take note of that, check that, mark that off. Make sure you keep that in mind because that's actually a person showing you who they really are, Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to move on to number three, okay, number three. But I just want to let y'all know, pay attention to your intuition. If a person don't seem all that excited for your achievements and, and the good news, but they're ready to point out when you're doing wrong, when you're doing bad, when it's something ain't right, that could possibly be a low-key hater, okay? Now, number three. 
The number three, what we have for to know if someone is a secret hater, okay? Secretly hates you. Number three is they're two-faced. This is, come on now. Y'all should know this one. They are two-faced. Two-faced. Anytime you come into contact with someone who is two-faced, they're around you, they're two-faced, just know they're an un undercover hater. Now, let's get into it. Number three, they are two-faced. Okay? What do I mean by this? They smile in your face, baby. No, I'm not going to get into the song today. But... You may want to keep that song in mind. They smile in your face whole time. They want to take your place. Okay? Keep that song in mind. Now, secret hater, number three. They smile in your face. But then, all right, wait a minute now. They talk about you behind your back to other people when you're not around. When you're not around, they got a whole nother face on. They got a whole nother mask on. They, you know what I'm saying? They smile in your face like everything all cool, everything all good, everything all gravy. But when they're around other people, they're talking and they're gossiping about you. They got a whole nother face on. They got this face. When they around you, they like this. When they're not around you, they're like this. Okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> So they gossip with others about you and they tell your business. Listen, here, anybody, especially if they're supposed to be close to you, if they going around telling your business, it's things you have told them and they telling your business or they even lying on you, just know they're a hater. They're, they are not a real one. Okay. They are not real ones. Let me tell you about, let me, let me just tell you, I'm going to tell you about me in general. We ain't even finna get on real ones. I'ma just tell you about me personally. Even after we could go through a, a breakup or not being cool anymore, I'm not finna blast you to social media and tell everybody and tell all your business and tell everything you told to me, okay? I'm not, okay? Just because we're not cool no more, just because I don't fool with you no more, I'm not even finna go around slashing you, like just throwing salt on your name or telling your all your business and shit like that. I'm not finna do that, okay? But see, you gotta keep in mind when you stop being in a relationship with someone or you stop being cool with someone and they can't wait to go and talk shit on your name and throw salt on your name. Just know they was a hater from the get-go who couldn't wait to talk shit about you. They couldn't wait to tell all your secrets and all your in every all your business. They was never a real one. Because real ones. Even when you're not cool, they ain't even finna do that. They finna just let you be gone, poop and gone. And they still ain't finna tell, they still ain't finna just disgrade, degrade you like that. They ain't finna go to social media with their shit. They ain't finna go around telling everybody your business and your flaw. And I'm telling you, that's not me. If I cut you off and we not cool no more, that's just that. I don't even sit there and talk on you, baby. That's just that on it. It's almost like you don't exist anymore to me. I don't feel the need to go around and try to make everybody dislike you and tell your business and all the secrets you told to me. You know what I'm saying? Because even though we not cool anymore, I, I'm still loyal. I ain't going to tell all your damn business. I don't care to do that. That's messy as fuck, okay? I don't like that messy shit. And it's people who are already messy. You didn't even know what type of friend or person they was or family member who was close to you, a sister, or brother, mama, whatever it was to you. That couldn't wait, was already doing it. You just didn't know when y'all was friends or y'all was cool. They was already doing it to a certain extent. But then when y'all stopped being as cool and as friends, oh, they really went in and they really was telling all your business and your secrets in some more, meaning they was lying as well. These type of people, they also lie. They also got to make you look even more bad after the friendship end or whatever. You're not cool with them anymore. They got to make you, or the relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, they got to make you look even more bad to people. That's what they care about. 
how they make you look to other people. So therefore they throw in lies as well. See, these are fake people, y'all. These are fake people. I know by experience, this has happened to me. So I'm trying to tell y'all, this has happened to me. If I actually know more about people who I'm not cool with, I know more about them than they know about, more about me because I'm never one to tell you all my damn business and go deep into stuff. I got more damn sense than that. So this is why some people feel the need to make up lies after I'm no longer cool with them. But I know all the things they've been through and all things and different that like that, but I'm just not that shady, man. I don't, don't want to do that, you know? And I know a lot that I could just put out there I could be, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Get down to that level and I could be shitty. Ooh, ooh, you know what I'm saying? How much shit I know, but I keep that to my damn self. What I look like stooping down to that level, bruh? What I look like sitting up here exposing people and telling, honestly, y'all got to start paying attention to the people who's trying to expose the next person. What they trying to expose, take what they're saying with a little bit of grain of salt. You need to be checking out the character of the person who's always trying to expose other people's business and they got something negative to say. You need to look at and start looking at them with a side eye. All right, you got to be looking at them like this. All right, look at them like that. Look at them like that. That says a lot about their character. All right, start paying attention to that. That's what I pay attention to. Start paying attention to that. Because I know I could get low. You know what I'm saying? But I chose not to. But pay attention to people who choose to get low and choose to, after a friendship, after a, so a, a relationship, they no longer dealing with them and they move on. Pay attention to how one person sometimes, a lot of times, tend to be moved on by their life, ain't even thinking or talking about that person. But pay attention to the people who are still stuck on that person. That's going to show you, that's going to tell a lot. If a person is still stuck on the person who has moved on and they talking mess and they trying to tell their business and they act like they can't stand them or they always. My thing is, if you can't stand a person, why is you always talking about them or you in their business and you always after the relationship or the friendship the end? Listen, pay attention, y'all. Pay attention. You know, you got to pay attention to that. And these type of people be fake friends from the get go. And that's just dead on that. Okay. Now, these type of people, they have an issue with you, but yet they don't address the issue with you. Instead, they're telling everyone else. But then when they're around you, they act as if everything is cool. Everything is fine. That's a fake ass friend. Okay. I had that done to me. All right. I had a person. Or should I say people? But definitely this one person in particular that was a coward because they would not speak on things with me and to me. But boy, did they go behind my back. When they was in my face, they would smile like everything's cool. Everything is good. Everything is fine. But they talked shit on me, threw salt on my name to everybody else, man. Everybody else. But they couldn't tell me. That's a coward right there. They couldn't tell me because I'm the type of person. Let me know if something bother you. I want to get that right, you know. I want to get that right. It's okay. Come talk to me. Because I have no problem with, okay, let me see. Was I wrong there? Maybe I was wrong there. Well, I apologize, and I want to try to do better, all right? So it shouldn't be no reason for you to be afraid to tell me how you feel, even if I didn't do nothing but you felt bad uh, about it or you was, I'm, I might still apologize because I'm like, I didn't attend to, to make you feel that way. I didn't try to, so I apologize. You know, I don't want you to feel that way. That's not how I meant, and maybe I can break it down to you to try to make you feel better because I'm not going to intentionally try to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? So, but there's some people out there that cannot confront you, but they're going to tell, they're going to act like everything's fine with you, but everything, how they feel about you. And a lot of times they'll be low-key haters because they can't come to you and address some things because it's stupid. They know it's stupid. They know you didn't do shit and they know that they just hate it. It's you just, you being you that irritates them and make them hate on you. This 
this low-key hating ass friends, this snake of, of a friend or family member or relationship person who you supposed to be in a relationship with your love or boyfriend or girlfriend, they can't come to you because they know it's foolish. So they got to go to everybody else and make it look like it's something that it's not. When they know damn well it's foolish, that's why they can't come to you. Because they know that it ain't nothing that you did personally. It's just you being you. That really bothers them and disturbs their demons. That's why I always tell y'all, you got to get with people who's on the same level you as you, who match you um, energetically. You just got to, baby. You just got to. Because if not, people who are more on a low vibrational frequency, they're going to want to bring you down to their level. They're going to want to. And you can find yourself end up going there with them. That doesn't mean you're low vibrational, but that just means you may have got pushed to the limit. We are all human, so you can't get pushed. That don't make you low vibrational because you got pushed and took out of your character, took out of your zone. But some people are low vibrational frequency. They have that type of low vibrational frequency. They're always there. And they see you high vibrational and they want to bring you down by some type of insult or uh, insult or make you feel some type of way. So you can be down, even if it's just for that moment. But if you have vibrational like me, you could get down for the moment. But then the next 10 minutes, you bring yourself back up out of it. But see, these low vibrational people, they don't know how to get themselves out of that low vibration. Me, I'm honest, you know, I'm, I got to be honest uh, about things. I'm a high vibrational person. It really takes a lot for me to stoop down to your level. I walk away from things and people and situations where you seem to be low vibrational. I walk away from you. I don't have time for that. I don't. I don't have time to argue with you. I don't have time to cuss you out. Back. You know what I'm saying? That's what it means to turn the cheek. Okay. Boom. I'm done with that. This is how you act. I'm showing you respect. You can't give me respect. Okay. I'm out. Deuces. You know what I'm saying? That's what it means to turn the other cheek. Okay. But if you put your hands on me, that's not what it means to turn the other cheek. Somebody put your, you got to defend yourself. Turn the other cheek does not mean do not defend yourself. If somebody put your hands on you, um, their hands on you, you're going to let them end up possibly killing you. Self-defense, defend your damn self now. You know, defend yourself. You are meant to defend yourself. But to be stooping down to people level, gossiping, and sitting up there trying to uh, use your platform to throw salt on the other person's name. No, nah, we ain't finna do all that. We ain't finna get on their level. And we ain't finna sit up there and make things about certain people and talk about certain people and throw their names out there in their business. We ain't gonna stoop on their level, even though they want to be like that. That's what it means to turn the other cheek. They just digging a grave, a hole for themselves, okay? Now, so... Yeah, I have had these things done to me. And when I tell you, like, people who I, I'm no longer cool with, I, I know a lot. But I didn't bash them. And that's why I be like, we have a choice, man. We have a choice. These type of people choose to be nasty and evil. Even when they end friendships or relationships, partnerships, or in a family with you, they choose to be evil with you when you even with them or you connected to them. Then they go even lower when you disconnect yourself from them. And you could do the same, but you choose not to. You choose to take the higher route. And honestly, this is why you shouldn't stoop to these people level because they want you to get down to their level so they can be like, see, see, see y'all. This is what I said. See, I told y'all. I told y'all. He or she was angry. I told you it was them. It was them. They want you to stoop down to their level. This is why you got to take the higher route. It don't even matter if people don't believe you at that moment. Just know, always remember the truth reveals itself. What's done in the dark eventually come to, to the light. People in their true colors eventually come to light. It may not come when you want to. It may come a year down the line, six months down the line, two, three, four, five years down the line. But people will eventually, if you are the truth, people will eventually see your truth and will eventually see certain people for who they really are. Because they're going to continue to carry out these toxic cycles or these low vibrational ways. And then people going to eventually, the veil will be ev eventually lifted. And they're going to be able to be seen for who they are. So it's no need to jump to their level. It's no need to pro prove a point. Basically, let karma get that ass, okay? It's okay. I had to be like that. I had to be like that. I had to be like, you know what? 
I'm going to let time eventually and karma eventually by me just continue to do things the way I do it and not stoop to people level and not try to expose people. Even though I know they're doing this, they're doing that, they're trying to do this to come up against me all because they mad because I cut them off or I'm not cool with them anymore because I saw their wicked ways. And I didn't go around telling and exposing their wicked ways. I just cut them off. And... They mad and they want to come up against me like this. They want to try to crucify me and, and, and change the way people look at me and lie and throw on me, on my name, and throw salt on my name. I'm going to let karma get it. I'm going to let God. I'm going to let God do this. I'm going to let the divine handle this. Because, see, you could try to, you stoop down to somebody level, you end up looking just as bad as them. This is why you want to let karma get people. And you don't want to take karma in your own hands. You don't want to play God in other people's lives. You just want to be like, I know that I was right or I was or I was right about this. I was about that. Universe, spirit, reveal this. You know what I'm saying? Show the truth. Show us true colors. And you speak that and you going on by your business. Not try to sit up here and prove some shit. You going on by your, your business. And you do what you got to do. And you trust that in, in divine time and when it's time, the truth going to come. Just by these people being ignorant. If you ask me, people like this be ignorant. People that try to talk about you and be all fake behind your back, they ignorant because the truth eventually come out. And that's what you got to do. Not try to take it in your own hands. You got to you gotta let it eventually come out for itself and show for itself. It looks a lot better without your hands getting messy. You get what I'm saying? Without your hands getting messy, you don't get involved, okay? You let this just naturally unfold, all right? And that's what you got to do. Now, let me move on to number four. <laughs> number four is, okay, when it comes to five ways to knowing if someone secretly hates you, number four is um, they avoid eye contact with you or they have intense eye contact okay these type of people certain people i don't have much to say about number four but a lot of times you know listen the eyes are the windows to the soul some people you can just tell come on now especially y'all come on now my intuitive people out there my intuitive ones those of you who are very you know you intuitive you can look at a person in their eyes and you can see that they, it's, it's, it's almost like they're soulless. It's almost like there, there's no soul there. There's no deepness. No, there is no, there's nothing in depth there. Okay. You can tell. Don't let that run past you. Don't ignore that. Don't ignore that. That be the truth. I used to ignore stuff like that. I could tell in people's eyes like, damn. You ain't shit. And I had to say something like that. And, and let me tell y'all, it would come to like relationship-wise. Somebody trying to come up and talk to me. I'm like, I could look right in their eyes and be like, you ain't shit. You is trying to smooth talk me, man. You trying to smooth talk me. I see in your eyes that you don't mean shit that you is saying right now. That you trying to get what you want right now. You know what I'm saying? So pay attention to the eyes. And so that's just as if like a friend or somebody around you, a secret hater, co-worker, anybody. It don't have to be somebody who's close to you. It doesn't have to be a friend or a family member. It could be a co-worker or anybody, man. You know, anybody that you come into contact with. Pay attention to different things, man. Okay? Pay attention to different things. And in in the eyes, pay attention because they are the windows to the soul. Okay. Eyes, the eyes are the windows to the soul. You can kind of tell a lot of times, like some people just ain't got much going on on the inside, you know? You can tell. You know. So pay attention to that. All right. Now, moving on, moving along to number five. Number five, to kind of, you know, be able to understand or be able to um, know if someone is a secret hater who see, or someone who secretly hates you, especially if they're around you, they're always defensive. This could be a friend, this could be a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, wife, or a friend, you know, any type of friend, associate, or family member, or a co-worker. They're always defensive. 
hard for them to take advice, hard for them to take criticism. You just trying to give them some advice that could actually help them. You don't mean nothing by it. You like y'all on the job and you see that it's a better way to help them with lifting that object. Yet, they don't want to take heed to what you're telling them. You just tell them because you see them kind of struggling a little bit with carrying. When you can tell them like, you know, hey, we got these different things. You know, it's a different technique. You know, if you hold it this way, you know what I'm saying? It'd be a lot better for you. Da, 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 da. But they want to get defensive about it and they don't want to take your advice. It's because they're a secret hater. They're like, nah, you don't tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? Nope. So they'd rather go the hard way about doing things or this and that because their their ego, too much pride, and they don't want to take the advice from you. And you could be a friend. This could be someone close to you. But see, they don't want to take your advice because they feel like they know it all. Who are you? And they also feel like, like no, you're not going to tell me what to do. So this kind of signs of a secret hater too as well. Like, shouldn't no friend be all defensive with you? I've had that before as well. Um, your friends, you ought to be able to play with them without them taking uh, offense or being defensive. It's, it's a friendship, especially if it's, it's actual friends, okay? Friend group. Y'all supposed to be able to it, it play a little bit. It shouldn't be so defensive. Everything shouldn't be so damn defensive or the person shouldn't be take everything offense. If they are, just know they may be a secret hater. Because they low-key thinking like, you think you always know it all. You think you better. They take everything you plan, oh, you think you better. Because they low-key hate, hate you. They low-key hate on you. So they low-key already thinking like you think you better when it's just them. A lot of times when people be like, this person think they all that, you think you all that, it's because they think you all that, period. If you didn't say you think you all that, it should be no reason for a person to be like, you think you all that. A lot of times a person can have confidence. Just by you having confidence when you, within yourself, people who have less confidence... They want to take that as you think you all that when really they looking up to you or they feel like you are all that. They think you all that, man. They think you're all that. People love to deflect and put their sh how they feel onto others. A lot of times people who say she thinks she all that or he think he all that. It's because they feel that way. They feel that way about you, man. You didn't say it. You be all humble. You be all sweet. You be all good. You try to make others see their potential or see the things in them. And yet they still want to say you think you all that because you know yourself or because you carry yourself with such confidence. They think you're all that. They think they don't amount up to you. All right. They feel some type of way by your confidence because they lack their very confidence that you have. All right. These are secret haters. All right. These are the type of people who are secret haters. And that's just that on that. All right. So that was the fifth and the last. OK. Sign <laughs> or way of to knowing or to seeing someone who is secretly a hater or secretly hates you or secretly hate on you. All right. But all right. That completes my whole little message or little five way <laughs> five way or of knowing if someone is a secret hater or not or secretly hates you all right but yeah you know give it a like comment or subscribe if it resonated with you you know um yeah if you you know put down in the comments if you have been through this you experienced if it was any confirmation to you yeah and also turn on that notification bell all right because you never know when i'm gonna post but yeah that completes this message that i have for you this video okay um yeah thank you thank you for your time i love you guys Mwah. until next time <laughs>